All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. As you guys can see by the picture, we're going to be talking about food, okay? And we're going to be talking about the uh, spiritual, uh, when you eat food in the spiritual realm, or when you look like you're about to eat food, or somebody's handing you, you food in the spiritual realm. And we'll talk about the physical realm as well, okay? So first, let's just go with the easy part, the physical realm of food, right? We see food, we get hungry, we want to eat the food, right? But we don't understand uh, where the food comes from. We don't know how it was created. We don't know the types of things that are in the food. We don't know who created, made the food, who prayed over the food, who prayed witchcraft over the food, who who did, you know what I mean? So we, we don't know. We just eat. When we see food, we just eat, or at least we used to do that. After today, you're not going to do that no more because you're going to realize where, where a lot of your problems are coming from is to be coming from food, okay? Uh, so a lot of you guys are just eating food at your family house. You might go to your uh, auntie's house, your, 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 um, you know, your uncle's house, and you just eat. And you have no clue what they've done to that food. You don't. You don't. You, you, they knew you were coming over, and if they have blood, if they if they, if they secretly hate you, and they're not and they're never and they're not showing it to you, they 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 will put witchcraft on that food. They'll 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 put uh they'll pray evil demons over that food. They'll pray wickedness over that food, and you'll just go over there, and everybody was be giving high fives, and you're watching the game like today's the Super Bowl. You'll be watching the Super Bowl, and all the food. Is corrupted. All the food has been prayed over by with, with, with witchcraft, and you have no clue because on the outside, everybody loves you. On the outside, everybody's about to watch the game and have a good time. Uh, in the outside, you got no problems with nobody, but in the inside, these people hate. These people might not even like you. Okay, uh, they they might be jealous of you. A lot of times, a lot of times when people do things to you, it's because of jealousy, not because they really actually hate you. It's because you're living better than them. You're 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 not going through what they're going through, and because of that, they become jealous of you. And so they're not. They don't really hate you. They just are jealous of that. The fact that you're not going through the situations they put themselves in, right? Because we all put ourselves in in situations. Now, sometimes God does put us in situations as a testing mode uh, to see if we pass or fail. And we, we, we pray that we we pass every test that God puts in front of us. But 99% of the time, we are in the situations we are in. We are in the places that we are in because we put ourselves in that situation. Okay, 99% of the time. Okay, uh, I know things. I know things come out of out of the ordinary, and people's life can change in an instant uh, through uh, car accidents and. And, you know, through through things other people might take into their own hands, like shootings and, and robberies and rape and things of that nature. Um, but uh, but a lot of times we put ourselves in those situations. And so when you go to you, these people's houses and you and you go to your uncles and aunties houses and you, uh, you know, you eat their food and you don't pray over it because you think everybody is with you and everybody's good or somebody else prayed over it already. You know, and you just eating the food, and they sitting there watching you eat the food, and they go go get some more. You you remember when you were a kid and and uh, or or a young young little teenager, and 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 your aunties and uncles and and your families and friends would say, "Go get another plate, go get another plate." You'd be like, "Why are you telling me to go get another plate?" You know what I mean? Like, and hey. You might know, you might, you might realize why they wanted you to go get another plate because they wanted to feed you what they prayed over it. Okay. That you have no clue about. And it's been tormenting. It's probably been, and, and, and that thing, those things that you were eating, you know, the food that you were eating and, and the things that they prayed over that food has been tormenting your life this whole time. And you have no clue. You had no clue until right now until you watch this video. OK, so some of you guys are going to be delivered today on Super Bowl Sunday <laughs> uh, of, of things because you're going to after this video, you're going to pray uh, to be re to, to, to cancel everything that you ate uh, from, you know, from the beginning of your womb for when your mom. And it's a thing. Here's another thing. What your mom ate while you were in the womb has destroyed your life as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. So a lot of our lives have been destroyed in the womb because of what our mothers ate. 
our mother ate, okay? And it has nothing even to do with us, but because it's in our bloodline, and we in the womb was eating of what our mother was eating, it has destroyed our lives as well. Okay, so that's another thing. So that's another thing we need to pray over. So so when this video is over, get on your knees or stand up and get your hand in the air and tell God to cancel every negative demonic food that you have eaten spiritually, physically, all the way back to your mother and father's side, all the way back to Adam and Eve. Because it could be generationals of witchcraft, uh, of food that is in your bloodstream, in your DNA, because of what your mama ate while you were in the womb and you ate some of that, going all the way back to Adam and Eve. It could be generations of, of uh, witchcraft, generations of poverty, generations of, of, of marine kingdom uh, demons and, and, and all types of stuff that they prayed over the food and your mother ate it and your grandmother ate it ate it, your great great grandmother ate it and you uh, ate it as a uh, in the womb and you've been eating it since while you've been you know as a teenager a little kid uh, and, a, and a young adult a, a grown up an old adult you've been eating the same food from a, the family members and you have no clue that that has been destroying your life you have not fulfilled your destiny because the food you've eaten has destroyed you, okay? Um, and you're trying to figure it out, and you can't figure it out, okay, what's going on. It's because the food you're eating has destroyed your destiny. So you want to... You want to pr always pray over your food, number one. Pray over your food, right? Uh, you know, you get buy food in the market. You don't know what these things have, you know, they got in, they've been induced. They've been injected. Uh, you know, the fruits look big and, and, uh, the, the vegetables look weird, you know, so, so, you know, the, you know, and, and I remember, uh, <laughs> we was in the prophetic class and, people were saying broccoli ain't real. I, I knew about that from, um, Dr. S uh, uh, CB. Before he passed away, one of the things he said was broccoli isn't real. Uh, broccoli is not a real uh, vegetable. And uh, he was, he's, yeah, of course, he's right, right? He, broccoli is not a real vegetable. Um, so they killed him, <laughs> right? So, so, so they got rid of him. As soon as he went over, as soon as he went to an area they could get him, they got him, right? Because they, 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 they don't want to, they don't want to lose money in, in broccoli, okay? They, they know it's not real. Broccoli is not a real vegetable. Um, but you know, they're still going to sell it, but you know, it is what it is. Right. So, so the truth, the truth, when the truth comes out, you know, people can lose millions and trillions of dollars and, you know, so they had to get rid of him before he told more truth. Okay. So, <laughs> but, but here's the truth about food, pray over your food, but not just pray over your food. You need to cancel all the food that you have eaten, including myself. We have to cancel all the food that we've eaten going all the way back to Adam and Eve because our generation, uh, generational bloodline has eaten food that have been witchcraft, eaten food of demons, eaten food of uh, all types of, uh, um, you know, evil satanic demonic stuff that people have prayed over their food including you guys that go to church you guys that go to church you guys that go to the uh temples you guys go to the synagogues and all that stuff and you guys and they have food there from other people that you think you can you can trust oh big mama and all these uh you know older folks that you don't know that they're witches and warlocks and all types of stuff you think they're just uh very very humble holy people and they're really not and they're putting all this stuff in the food yeah, okay and they and they keep tending to bring more food and every sunday they bring in more food you like why are they bringing all this food every Sunday? You know what I mean? Aren't they tired of cooking every Sunday? It's because they 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 planning on something. They plan on destroying your life. They plan on destroying your destiny. They plan on destroying your future. That's why they keep bringing the food, okay? And every time they bring the food and you guys eat it, they get empowered, okay? That they get more power from it, okay? That's why they keep bringing the food. So. You got to understand, you better pray over everything that you eat and you better, you better ask the Holy Spirit to suck that whatever, whatever thing they prayed in that food. You better ask the Holy Spirit to cover it and suck it all out of that food before you eat it, right? Especially those that go to church. I don't go to church, but for those that go to church, I don't have nothing against church. I, I just feel like, 
I just feel like uh, there's so many demonic churches out there that is really, that you need to pray over any church that you're going to. So if you're planning on going on to a church and becoming a member in a church, you need to pray and ask God, is this church uh, you know, is this church of you, right? And then, and then, and then, when he gives you the answer, you just go to the church and you just wait, wait it out. Just, just look around, see what, see what they do. You know, see, look around maybe for a month or two, and then you say, okay, this looks good. People are, people are looking blessed, and they're, you know, and you can then, you know, say, okay. The Lord gave me my answer. I'm good to go. Okay. The Lord said that this church is good. Okay. That's how you should do it. You shouldn't just jump into any churches. There's so many demonic churches out there. There's so many Marine Kingdom churches out there and they feed, they feed you food. Okay. This is why, this is why so many Christians are, and people in Christianity are going through craziness, right? They, they going through, they, 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 they're blinded from the truth. They go through craziness. They do a lot of ritual sacri uh, sacrifices, rituals stuff and all this type of paganism stuff and they cannot and they can't open their eyes to the truth because people are feeding them all types of food in their churches okay they can't and they're keeping them blinded you know giving you just enough so you can come back the next next uh next sunday every sunday they give you just enough so you can come back next sunday right it's like a fix and we and so we we got to get out of that. We got to get out of that. And we got to pray about our churches. You got to pray about the church that you're going to. Um, you know what I mean? I came out of that. I came out the church. I was like, man, this is this is something's not right, right? I I could feel it with my whole spirit that something something ain't right. You know what I mean? So and that's for a lot of churches, okay? Especially the mega churches. Lord have mercy. Um, <laughs> but. Let's now talk about the spiritual realm for eating because this is very important. This is more important than the, than the physical because everything happens in the in the spiritual before the physical, right? So in the spiritual realm, if you see yourself eating food, that is that is not good. That is not good at all. You need to wake up and you need to cancel that dream immediately. Okay. So if you, so once again, if you see yourself eating food in your dreams, you need to wake up and cancel that immediately because what's happening is the demons are putting, are, 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 you know, you, that are feeding you these food because that's all it is. When you, when it might be your friend that you're looking at, but it's really a demon, right? <laughs> Pretending to be your friend. Um, so they're feeding you. So they're putting the, what they're trying to do is they're they're trying to put uh, demons inside your body. They're trying to um, they're trying to uh, put diseases in your body. They're trying to bring uh, you know iniquity and 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 uh, they're trying to bring uh, destruction basically and chaos into your life. Okay, and poverty as well. They're trying to bring, they're trying to feed you poverty as well into your body. Okay, um, vagabond spirits and all types of things. They're trying to feed you into your body. Marine kingdoms. They're trying to put that into your body for you women. Maybe it's the, um, you know, mermaid spirits and things of that nature. They're trying to put into your body. So when you see yourself eating in the spiritual realm, you need to wake up and cancel that dream immediately. Okay. So you don't want to eat in the spiritual realm. You don't want to eat. I'm gonna repeat that. You do not want to eat in the spiritual realm. So tonight, uh, you you need to break all the um things about the spiritual realm and the physical realm from eating all the way back to Adam and Eve. And I guarantee you, when you do that, you're you're gonna if that's the thing that's holding you back, if that's the thing that's holding your breakthroughs, if that's the thing that's been uh, that's been destroying your life, you're gonna see you're gonna see a manifestation and a breakthrough immediately because that's so that's 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 your problem and you had no clue about it maybe you've been living 50 years you had no clue that you, and you've been eating in your dreams all the time for the last 50 years you have no clue maybe you've been eating at church uh, and, and you don't know that they're praying uh things over the over, uh, demonic stuff over the food and when you break that you'll see a change immediately in your life because and all the things that we're holding back because of this uh, will, will become in your life. You'll start getting your raises. You'll start getting your increase. You'll start getting everything that you were supposed to get. Okay? So do not eat in your in your dreams. Okay? And you need to tell the Holy Spirit uh, to, to guard you and your spirit man in your dreams. And when you see things in your dreams that you should not be doing, you need to rebuke it. And you need to wake up and cancel it. Okay? Uh, I, I, a couple of days ago, some some somebody tried to... 
put uh like rice in my face and I woke up right immediately. I didn't I didn't grab the rice, I didn't do anything. But well, somebody tried to feed me rice and I woke up immediately because I know that wasn't rice. <laughs> okay. So so don't we don't want to eat in your dreams. Okay. So hopefully this helps you guys and you guys have a blessed day. Uh talk to you later. Eyes open.